Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a big and bold astrological month, especially for you. The full moon that will take place right around the 8th of the month will be speaking with Jupiter and Pluto in your sign. Now these two planets, Jupiter and Pluto, are dancing closely together all year, but it will be just days before the full moon that they will perfect their first exact connection of three that take place over this year. This represents an incredibly important time for you, a time of, on the one hand, transformation, but also illumination, a time that helps you to make more clear what it is that has been changing for you, where it is that you have slowly but surely since 2008 been reborn, if you will, rising from the ashes. And now, as you stand at this moment, how is this going to change your direction? How is this going to change your understanding of what's worth achieving? With this full moon happening in a part of the sky related to career, related to life purpose, there is change afoot. There is a sense of transformation now that is reaching so many areas, not just personally, but certainly professionally as well. For some, this is going to be a time of tremendous focus, but for others, this is going to be a time when you realize you're ready to go in a whole other direction. This certainly isn't an easy time for us as a collective in our communities and individually as well. And so your changed understanding as to your direction, what's worth achieving, what isn't, and how this speaks to you so personally, so connected to your truth. Well, as you explore this now, it in and of itself is difficult. And yet this is work, this is insight, this is transformation, this is change whose time has come. And this is going to change your understanding of what's worth achieving and helping you to align with it more fully. As we navigate later into the month, we are going to have a new moon taking place right around the 23rd. This new moon happens in a heart-oriented part of your sky, having to do with what it is that you truly want, what you want to do, what you're passionate about, where it is that you're ready to take a risk of some kind, go with what it is that you really want to do. But be a little bit careful here because being calculated is the great strength. This new moon will be happening hand in hand with Uranus. So there's a surprise and quick element here, but it is also going to be speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn. And Saturn is moving through a part of the sky now that has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. There is something you feel really called to do that you think would be fun, that you think would be fulfilling, but how to make it work financially well, that is part of the exploration now. You can get there. You can get to that point where you are able to do more creatively fulfilling things and to create prosperity for yourself with that. But it is going to require that you be willing to tweak a little bit and explore a little bit and perhaps think entrepreneurially and to think outside the box but it's a journey, it's a process. Some big opportunity could come, but it may not be as financially rewarding as you would like it to be. And on the other hand, it may just feel as if what you wanna do, it just matters to you too much to worry as much about the financial part of it. Now, regardless, keep in mind that this energy of Uranus and Saturn, well, this is actually a dance that is going to be ongoing in 2021. This is a first glimpse into one of the more important energies coming up for us next year. And so this is going to give you a little bit of a glimpse into what you're going to be working on, what you're going to be exploring further as we move further and into next year. But the time is now in many ways to consider where it is that you want change to happen and yet to tap into some of that Saturnian calculation part at this time. Well, that'll help you to feel that much more secure in the changes that are taking place for you now. Where it comes to matters of love, a few things stand out to me. 
One is we are going to have a Venus retrograde season begin right around the 12th of April is when Venus goes into shadow next month, officially going retrograde. Normally Venus will spend about four weeks per sign per year. This time Venus will be in the same sign and in the same part of the sky right to the middle of the summer. Nice long stay. There will be a Venus retrograde special horoscope, so be on the lookout for that in the first part of April. But I just wanted to mention it now that all of us are gonna be engaged in love-related lessons. For you, it is going to be related to how much love you feel day to day and as you move through your days and the spaces that you frequent, how much love you feel directed towards you in your smallest moments. And of course, this is a part of the sky connected to work as well, where it is you feel in love with the work that you're doing and how to make it so more often. And romantically, work being the spaces in which you feel like you're connecting with people more on a heart level. So as I said, I'll talk about that more in the Venus retrograde special horoscope, but bringing it back to this month, I feel like you are going through such powerful transformation now. A big part of that is Jupiter meeting Pluto in your sign. A part of that sense of connection to intensity within may very well be through connecting with others, through love as well. If you are open to meeting someone new, keep your eye on what is happening in the first week of the month. That is a powerful time for you where you may find yourself wanting to connect with someone else in a meaningful way. But that new moon at the later part of the month on the 23rd, well, that happening in that heart-oriented part of the sky, well, that may bring with it a very surprise, if not shocking flirtation with it, uh, that really seems to catch you off guard in some way. And from that, you can figure out the best way to move forward from there. It looks like as much as it is enlivening, there may be some practical matters there that have you second guessing whether or not it's good to move forward. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, you know, I think of this month as very all or nothing. This is the kind of month where a lot of us are gonna be making huge consequential choices. In the first part of the month, it is very much about you, your truth being highlighted and whether or not this person aligns with that. At the same time though, that new moon later in the month, well, that will bring with it fresh perspectives. And if this is a person you do want to continue to get to know, things could accelerate and move very quickly at this time. But if this is a person that is not the right one for you, well, chances are you'll be going in a whole other direction at that time. And for those of you in an established bond, I feel like the intensity of Jupiter meeting Pluto early in the month, well, that is gonna to speak to how bonded and how close you feel with your partner. As we navigate towards the uh, later part of the month with that new moon, that is gonna be a powerful time as well of awakening and of considering how it is that the two of you could create sweeping changes in your lives that ultimately can help to not only fortify the love, but really change so many parts of your life at that time. It isn't necessarily the easiest energy, but it does look like where it comes to love, you feel supported. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, <laughs> but I will say I love the career progress and determination you show in the early part of the month with that full moon. And then of course, that new moon late in the month, that is a part of the sky that connects to joy, that connects to fun and a very surprise uh, opportunity to enjoy yourself could bring with it some mixed feelings and yet it's so good for some part of your soul as well. There is a balance that you can find at that time, a way in which to, yes, let loose, but still meet your responsibilities, a way in which to consider the long-term good for your life, and at the same time, honor your desire to be free and to have fun. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.